Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Double Chen Show. Double Chen Show. Today we have an interesting、uh, topic for you.、Yep. We found this article, and、uh, this is pretty funny. And the title that we that caught us was this is the is this the funniest breakup text ever? Basically, a guy. And these two people are in Australia. There's a guy who sent a breakup text、yep. text to this girl who、yep. uh, lives in Sydney. Um, and he, after seven weeks, so after been dating for not even two months, not even two months, and he listed six reasons why he wanted to split up with this woman. Right, and probably really funny. I'm assuming she didn't text him back. I don't know. Yeah. So let's go over these six reasons that he wrote down. Okay. And let's see if、uh, we agree with those reasons. Yep. Okay. First of all, can I just say? Can I please just say, somebody's name is Boo Boo, Bobo, Bobo. Is it Bobo、it's、or Bobo. Boo Boo? It's Bobo. Are you sure? I'm positive. That's Bobo. Boo Boo is B O O B O O. Man, did you learn English? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's Boo. It could be Boo Boo. That's Bobo. Um. So the、like、man. Like Jojo. So okay. Like Go Go. Is Bobo. The, his name. I don't know if that's his name, but、uh, on the girl's phone, his、yeah. name appears as Boo Boo. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so Boo Boo, so Boo Boo, so Boo Boo here says number reason number one, you refuse to update your relationship status on Facebook. Yeah,、um, that you know what I can agree with him on that one. That,、uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's a reason to break up. Yeah, that's but not, that's a reason of irritation. That would be a reason for let's irritating see, wait, wait, wait. me. Two months into the relationship, right? Okay. Two months. If they the have already confirmed that they are in、yeah. a relationship, that they're going steady, then they should update the Facebook thing, right? Yeah, I agree with that one. Right? Yeah, you should update it. I mean, I mean, why not? Like, no, here's the thing. I don't care. But if one party cares, yes, the other party should comply. Exactly. I agree. If both parties don't care, leave it. Here's the 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 part that would be a little crazy、mm-hmm. was is that if he's like okay we're in a relationship、yeah. I updated mine you agreed we're in a relationship that's creepy、uh, could you update yours and、uh, she's like no yeah and you're like oh、yeah. are you It, like like you hiding refuse. something refuse it's not that、oh, I'm getting around to it it's you refuse to、right. update it which I, like, I would have a problem where you just like okay、right. uh, yeah sure I'll do it and you never do it yeah. Yeah, exactly. Unless I, she's like, unless in her mind, they're not really in a relationship. That's that's what the guy is thinking. He's like, dude, are we going out or not? But you I know don't. What? I personally, I don't care about my Facebook status.、Um, but if the other person, if my significant other was like, yo, I want to change the status, I'd be like, let's do it. Yeah. What do you want to change it to? What do you want? Complicated. Complicated. <laughs> yeah. No. I, no. No.、Uh, but I would say. What do you want to change it to? I'll do whatever you want to do,、sure. unless and then. But then here's the thing: if she goes, it's complicated. And then I'll be like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what'd be funny is that in her mind they were never going out. Yeah. And then and then like she's like and then she gets this text with、yeah. the six reasons. She's just like she's like, man, why, we why, just went on two dates. What, why are you? Why are you? <laughs> I can totally see like like, like he a, he could be overthinker like yeah he could totally be that guy. Why do I think of it like an Asian nerdy Asian <laughs> dude? I'm sorry, not to make fun of our own race, but、Ooh. I could totally see like. An Asian guy, like kind of inexperienced, and just being like, "I thought we went on one coffee date. Like we're going out." You know, I, or a I, girl I, doing that too. I've met an Asian guy that that was kind of、yeah. like this.、Um, I mean, we, I've met Western guys, right? But、right. I know I I can think of a particular instance. I'm not going to share with everybody because it's kind of private. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Uh, this particular instance of a guy that I I've not met, but I know that acted kind of like this. It was really you, right? And you just don't want to tell people. Anyways, number, two, number two, you won't include me in things like the wedding this weekend. I should have been the one to escort you. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Here's why: I've been to a lot of weddings. Yes.、Um, you you don't invite you, you're they've been going out for six weeks, seven weeks. Yes. They're new couple. Right. At a wedding, you are not obligated to be. We actually did something about this. You know, you're in a serious relationship if you're the other person's plus one、right. in these events. Right. Right. All right,、so、wedding's a big deal. Wedding's a big deal. So, if you're the de facto default plus one, you've been going out for more than seven weeks. Right. Okay. So, like when I go to a wedding, I'm bringing my girlfriend. Yes. When we go to a holiday party, that's a, that. That's when right. Your coworkers 
are meeting you. You're going to Thanksgiving. You're going. Those to, are all big deals. Those are big deals. So you you definitely bring those are the milestones other. Yeah. in re, in a relationship. Yeah. Where if you're both at that place, then exactly. it's appropriate. Exactly. But if one of you are not at that place, yeah. then okay, look, you know you're not there yet. Like yeah. seven weeks, give it some more time. Yeah. Fine. Why why is he so upset? You want I should have been the one to escort him. No, he's, 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 he's troubled apparently. So that bothered him, obviously. Yeah. So, okay, so what, what I'm seeing right now from reason number two already, what I'm seeing is that he loves her way more than she loves him. He's basically very clingy and high maintenance. Yes. Number three, you are... <laughs> I cracked up. You are rude to my cat. And that makes me feel uncomfortable. I, I gotta ask you something. What is you are rude to my cat? Like, are you, are you cursing the cat? Are you hitting the cat? Like, what's? Are you just ignoring the cat? Like, what's rude to your cat? I mean, you stole the cat's fish. Yeah, like, like because if I, I'm sorry, cats. Cats are not like dogs. Okay, you're you're not always trying to play with a cat. So um, excuse me, like if I'm just ignore a cat. Because cat igno cats ignore right, me. Well, you just defended all of our cat lovers out there, which uh, I'm going to defend because I love both cats and dogs equally. I don't. If at I see all. if I see I a cat, I will play with a cat. I'm if I see a dog, dog, I want to play with a dog. Like I love all animals. I'm no. just like hey, kitty, kitty. I love dogs because dogs are a man's best friend. The way I treat cats, I'm going to tell you guys right now. I don't hate cats, but I treat them very different. You would be am... constituted as rude by this guy. Yep. To his and cat. Let me tell you. And this you will is, make him feel uncomfortable. What's the equivalent? I am an animal racist. You are. I'm an animist. Okay? Because here's the thing. Cats, you, you need to work on my affection. Because cats give it and take it. Dogs are always there. Dogs like, play with so me. You're, so you're saying dogs are dumb. No, I'm saying dogs are loyal and they're affectionate. Cats are like... Cats are fun. Oh, I love cats too. No, cats, one moment, they're they're like, I want to play with you. And then oh, you're like, oh, come here. And then they you. run away. Nah, they're, so. they're always like nud nudging against you. It's cool. So I'm on the side of the girl. Like, being rude, maybe she just doesn't want to play with a cat. All right, well, number four, you do not share your time <laughs> equally. And by now, your boyfriend should be oh, taking God. priority. Really? Come on, really? dude! Really? I mean, we talked about this before. At a certain point in your relationship, Jeez. yes, you maybe like you've been dating for six months to a year and yeah. you feel that the other person doesn't give the time to you as you give to them. Sure. That, that's not grounds for breaking up, but you should definitely bring it up. But yeah. this guy is just like, I guess. This guy's been sulking for yeah. like, uh, you know, the six or six weeks they've been going out. He's just been like, oh, yeah. I wish, but uh, I never said anything. <laughs> I wish you like, But honestly, on. like knowing what his other things are, this could just be like, he's nitpicking. This could be something where like, uh, okay, uh, she's maybe taking like a few days out, off the, out of the week to maybe hang out with her friends yeah. or doing her stuff. Yeah. And he's just like, why are you hanging out with your friends? And he's got no friends. Why are you hanging out with your yeah. friends? You should be hanging out with me. Exactly. All the time. Yeah, which is clingy. Yes. Basically. So Number five. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, no, number five, I kind of agree with. I kind of agree. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to agree okay. with this one. Okay. Okay. Your swearing is very unladylike. Okay. I agree with this one. All right. Basically, like, uh, I don't mind when a girl swears. I just mind when she's over the top. Right. That's. I, th I think that's kind of what he might be addressing. Yeah. I don't know. Like, uh, if you are just like... If this, if, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't deal with that. Sorry. Yeah. This is not who I am. <laughs> um, if you occasionally let out a swear word, okay, fine. Yeah. You know, that's fine. You're you know. expressing yourself. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Right, number six. You won't disclose how many sexual partners you've had, which makes me think it's helpers of three, and anything more than that is unacceptable. Oh, my goodness. Look. Uh, um, okay, so you know what? Whatever. That's that's some people are feel feel differently about that kind of stuff. Y um, you well, well you, you know what's good? Now, um, this guy can take this passage, he can put it on his online dating profile, and as long as the girls can check off that they meet the criteria and that they don't do these yeah. things, he'll have a girlfriend. He also has a little, at the end, he has a little uh, end card right here. Okay. He said at the end, after the six reasons, he then said, I feel it would be difficult for me to change... The okay, I hate this. <laughs> I feel it would be difficult for me to change you into the woman I want and don't need that hassle. I wish you all the best in your journey. At least he's polite. At least he's polite, and at least he knows what he wants. First of all, I just want to say, uh, I hate when ladies try to change men. Yeah. So, guys, let's not do it to ladies, okay? It's, uh, can it's I, both ways. Can I just say that... This. Um, if you want to uh, be change a girl yeah. into whatever you want her to be, right. then you know what? 
date a cartoon character, yeah. date a video game character yes. that does exist. You can program her. Yeah. Whatever you want. Right. It's there. Take right. your Nintendo DS right. and go eat spaghetti with her. This is this is a perfect example. No, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, stop trying to yeah. find that person that you can mold exactly. into your what? What your dream exactly. everyone's different, and there's a good reason for that. Right. You want to find somebody that you find, you know, unique. Exactly. Why does she need? To, ugh, it's kind of annoying. This is a perfect example, and there's a lot. And um, as society goes on, you know, as we're as there's more influence by the media mm -hmm. and what we read, there's a lot more people now that are like this guy and girls too, where they're like, I am 100% me, and I need you to match me. Fine, live your life like that. But I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna have a good life. Okay, life. What fun is it when you meet someone exactly what you want? Part of life is to get to know that person. Part of life is sacrificing and compromising and finding the joy in a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. Here, okay. Now I'm going to give you guys a more of the story because we read you the list. Yeah. Now you have in your head how, what this guy is kind of like. Right. Now this article goes on to explain from the girl's side. Okay. Check this out. The man sent the text last Monday, uh, just before his then partner had planned a wedding away to attend a friend's wedding without him. Right. Quote, he indicated that he was upset he couldn't attend with me, but we were only very casual. As far as I was concerned, the guest list had been finalized months ago. There wasn't necessarily an option to take a plus one. Which is so common. Like a lot of weddings, like even if you have a significant other, you don't get a plus one because of the size of that wedding. Uh, so if I was the, the girl, um, obviously, like I just met you like seven weeks ago. Yeah. I probably said, I probably, I probably chest checked out going alone to this wedding like months ago before that. Exactly. Because a wedding like, come on, no, months ago, months. And then you, ex ago. you were upset yeah. because the girl wouldn't like demand. Right. What, what's she gonna do? Like, like, like put one more chair into a table. It and doesn't squeeze. work that way. Have you guys not seen Friends when Monica was like going crazy? Oh, when, like, with it. We're like, with uh, that, uh, uh, who was it? Oh, no, Chandler. no, not friends. Uh, yeah. uh, not friends. Uh, How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How I Met Your Mother. Uh, there's this Ted uh, swore he put check one, yeah. and then he really didn't. And the bride was going crazy. Yeah. He almost caused the yeah. marriage to break up dude, because dude. he wanted to add a plus dude, one. It, speaking from real life, yeah. I mean, you've attended a lot of weddings. I've attended a lot of weddings. And that stuff, you need to tell the bride and groom, yeah. like, exactly is it plus one or not because they need to pay for that person they need to arrange the tables it's a lot of work on their end and they're getting married yeah. so and, and she's in the woman says she was amused by the text message and says she abstained from sending a response i really want to see her <laughs> response right, i also, really want to see her response. Right, here's her here's her uh, explanation for the cat yeah okay she's allergic to cats well pff, there you have it there you have it. Uh, I mean, you can't be near cats if you're allergic to them. You're gonna start sneezing up a up a you know storm. Basically, she's saying like when when she was over at his place, like the, she couldn't be around the cat. Yeah. So she had to insist that the cat was yeah. not in the room. So that's reasonable. You don't want your date to have allergic reaction. That's not being rude to your cat. I just <laughs> you know that's so a, that's, that's just like a health thing. I'm I'm glad uh, she made this text into light because it definitely uh, no she didn't she sent it to a friend oh she sent it to a friend her friend kind of um, yeah put it out there I'm glad her friend put it out there because that was kind of interesting huh we need less of this kind of stuff yeah you know let's love each other for who we are and if you do break up with somebody yeah. don't do this yeah this is kind of totally over the top ridiculous <laughs> and then it's gonna end up all over the place yeah and you're you gonna know actually like an arse. go do it and then we we have something to talk about exactly <laughs> like, exactly um, all right guys thanks so much for watching see Peace. you later.